Hey, this is Larry Yatch with SEAL Team Leaders. I'm the CEO and founder and absolutely love being able to bring you these little mini lessons on this channel. So I've got a really good one for you today. And this is about one of the most important aspects of our life, and that's our ability to team with others. You've heard us say this, we hammer this over and over again on this channel, is that your ability to team determines your level of success in life. If you're able to team at a very high level, if you're able to coordinate action with a lot of people in a lot of situations, you're gonna experience a lot of success. And every conflict, every struggle that you have in your life comes from some inability or ineffective coordination of action with others. So teaming is the most important thing that you can put your attention towards if you wanna experience more of life. Now within that, I wanna talk about two different parts of producing a high functioning team. And we're gonna look about look at this in two ways. We're gonna look at it from the perspective of a manager, someone who is building the team, and we're gonna look at it from someone that wants to get on the team. If you are struggling in your life, that's either because you're on a team that's ineffective and you need to get off that team, you're on the wrong team, you gotta get onto another team, or you, you need to modify the behavior, the structure of the team that you're on. So any one of those three things is what's gonna enable you to produce more success in your life. And this is gonna be a key aspect to it, both from the, the concept of modification of your team or from the concept of getting on your team, getting on a more effective team. So there's gonna be two parts to this and they are equally important. The first part is in order to get onto any team, you have to be of value. Right? You have to represent some sort of value for that team. And the best way to be able to represent, to identify what value I need to be to that team to become a critical part of it, is to be able to identify where they're putting their attention and focus. And that's going to expose to you their purpose, right? The purpose of the team. That which drives this team forward to a better future is the purpose. And a purpose is always revealed by where someone's attention and focus is. So when you can start looking at a team and identifying where their attention and focus is, you can start putting together what is the purpose of that team. Once you identify the purpose, it's your job to figure out what role you can hold in fulfillment of that purpose. And that's how you create value. When you create value, you get to be on the team. Now, ultimately you would think if there's everyone on a team, they're all aligned with the, their purpose, the purpose of the team, and they're all creating significant value, then that's a high functioning team. But in reality, that's just half of the equation. As human beings, we aren't just interested in performance. We aren't just interested in results. There's many examples out there of people that have produced unbelievable results, yet they're still miserable. And what they're missing is the second key component of a team and that's connection so I like to think of building a house of high performance of a team and when I'm doing that each individual on my team is a brick in that house and the more functional they are the more value that they represent to the team the bigger purpose that they fill on the team the bigger their brick now if I have a bunch of people that are high functioning purpose-driven effective people that's a bunch of big bricks and I can stack all those bricks up but if I push on that wall, even with the heavy bricks, they're gonna fall over. Because what's the strength of the wall is not necessarily the brick in and of itself, it's gonna be the mortar between the bricks. That mortar is what holds the house and the wall and the team together, and that mortar is connection. The stronger connection that you have between your team members, the stronger the team is altogether. And so as a, a leader, a manager of my team, a builder of my team, I'm always looking at two things. How do I increase the value of each individual member of that team? And how do I make sure they feel that value, right? They not only need to be a big brick for us, but they need to feel the assessed worth, the gratitude that we have to them for being representing that value. So that is a two way street on the value side. The second piece is I'm always looking at how can I increase the connection between team members and the leaders of our team and those that are doing all of the critical work. It's both sides of it. So value and connection. 
I'm working on both of those each and every minute. Now, if you're trying to figure out where do I start, well, assess it, look at it. Do you have a strong connection between your team members, yet they aren't producing lots of value? Or are they really valuable, high-functioning people that just really aren't all that connected? There's always gonna be one over the other, and that's where you can put your attention. So hopefully this was really useful. This is a really key insight into what enables you to systematically produce high-functioning teams, as well as to get onto it, right? We talked about your ability to identify the purpose of the team, find a role and then produce value towards that role is the first part of getting on a team. The second part is being able to produce strong bonds between you and other members of the team being and fulfilling that need for connection. Now being able to have both of these is what gives us a full life and gives us the ability to produce big accomplishments. So go on out there and start focusing on producing more purpose, more value for your team and your team members, as well as creating stronger connections. And I guarantee you're going to not only have a better experience of life, but you're gonna produce more success. So in the comments below, talk about what I'd be interested to hear is, where do you need to put your work? Do you need to put your work on production of value as individuals or overall as a team, or do you need to put your attention towards connection? It'd be interesting to see that balance of our teams out there. Alrighty then, if there's anything else you need, what we do as a company is create permanent and positive change in both people's lives and companies' lives. And we do that through being able to teach and guide you through both production and alignment of value and roles within your team, the structural side of it, and in being able to systematically enable you to create strong connection. So if you need help with that, reach out to us anytime. There'll be a link in the description below. Until next time, this is Larry Yatch with SEAL Team Leaders, and I look forward to seeing you on this channel later.